You ready for your body fat percentage? Yeah? Let's have a look then. We have to squeeze an inch here. 12 and a half. <laughs> 12 and a half. <laughs> Ah, that's where I left my calipers. Guys, have you ever wondered what your exact body fat percentage is? If you have, you've probably Googled it and found there is a multitude of methodologies just to figure out this simple metric. In today's episode, I'm gonna be comparing four of the most popular from the DEXA scan to the humble caliper. We're gonna be assessing the results along with the pros and cons of each method. Now hit subscribe because this is a really informative and interesting episode. Guys, I gotta get going. I've got a DEXA scan booked. So team, the first stop is the DEXA scan. We're down at the Poly Clinic here in Dubai. It's actually the most expensive by far of the different assessments we're doing today. And according to the internet research I've done, it's the most accurate. I haven't eaten or drank anything yet today. I'm pretty hungry, but they told me to come fasted. So let's go check it out and see what the body fat percentage is. Just had like a few questions so obviously it's looking very serious and surgical now we just want to understand like of all the body fat assessments is this one of the better ones like how does it compare with the other type actually there are many types of how to calculate the body fat but yeah. uh, as per the guidelines from the who right now yeah. the dexa meter will be the uh, most accurate it's around 99 percent that it will oh, be really accurate. yes okay compared to the ct scan and mri where uh, body fats also will be calculated but it yeah. needs a special software but for the uh, bone densitometry it will be more faster yeah. and uh, of course lesser radiation compared to CT scan because it's just for the uh, okay. measurement of the fat. So we're going to get the benefit of doing some bone density as well but we're here yes. today to do like the body fat that's what I'm yes. interested in. So I just had like one other question. Do you get different results depending on like time of day when you do it or like the the month or whatever like or does it matter much? No actually uh, the the parameters in bone densitometer will be only with the waist yeah the age and the body weight and uh, height okay and of course if you are taking a lot of uh, vitamins especially the uh, once calcium something so like that's that. why you're asking yes. if i take calcium yes the okay. more you are taking calcium the, of course the bmd the, the the bone densitometry will be more higher yeah. compared to the normal yeah. ones yes okay. and of course the age is the number one factor female and male also have different uh, categories okay. with those examinations So guys, the next one we're doing is the in-body scan machine. So you have to take your socks off because it's going to be pulsing some electrical signals through my body. Measuring your weight. Do not grab the handle. 
handles or move. Weight measurement is completed. Place your thumbs on the oval electrodes. Keep your arms straight. Your arms must not touch the sides of your body. I can feel the electric going through now. <laughs> Starting your in-body test. Oh, the body fat percentage is going up. So the next one we're doing is at Zone 20 EMS. I'm with Coach Rathead. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, he's going to explain to us what we're doing next, which is the 3D body yeah. scan. So I'm quite intrigued to learn about this one yeah. as well. So first of all, uh, let me give you an introduction about yep. this. The Fit 3D scan is like a device that uses like lights yeah. okay, to check your body composition, everything about your body, your BMRs, how much your body's burning during the day, okay. how much uh, actually body fat is in your system yeah so firstly we're gonna create your account okay okay so now you're gonna step here don't do anything just step. we're gonna calculate your weight yes yeah cool 78.7 accurate yeah hold on to this one it's yeah. adjustable okay yeah you hold on to it like this you yeah. stand tall stand straight and tall so do it now don't press the buttons yet okay when you press, press them simultaneously at the same time. Don't press yet and hold. It will do a full turn. Are you ready? Three, two, one, you press. This is your scan, okay? This is your outer shape more good or bad no you are oh. on the good side i'm on the good side. actually you are close to to really good i'm on the good yeah, side yeah to be 66. Okay. now the fitness level the bmr yeah is how much your body is burning during a day of rest okay you are resting for a full day yeah. how much your body will burn yeah you burn 1673 okay kilocalories so this one is actually good it's good but it can be improved much more. This with nutrition techniques. For example, what I would advise, you enter more carb to your system. Okay. okay. You try to divide the meals. Instead of eating big meals, try to eat small meals, like numerous small meals. You can eat up to six or seven meals a day, but the portion is actually less. Okay. This is how you boost your metabolism. This actually can be 2,000, can be 2,200 easily. Like the so final the fat loss measurement is the good old calipers. I'll be honest with you, we wanted to meet a personal trainer who was really experienced in these and had like the really good steel calipers, but we had to cancel last minute. They couldn't make the appointment. So don't worry, we got these good old trusty ones from Amazon, but I'm a bit concerned about the, uh, the accuracy. But anyway, I've looked at the video how to do it. We're going to do it pretty old school. So you have to pinch the fat here and then take the reading when it clips in. So just there, which is about 12, according to that. I've done it a couple of times. So we get a reading then of with an age of 41 to 45. It puts me at around percent body fat. So yeah, let's assess all these different measurements and sort of mull it over, but that's what the calipers are saying. Guys, the results are in. Drum roll, please. So, in terms of the fattest body fat percentage assessment, actually came from the DEXA scan, rumored to be one of the more accurate assessment methodologies. So I was pretty mortified to get this. The score came back as 24.9%. The next one up from that was the caliper, the body caliper at 24%, so still pretty high. The 3D body scan came in at 19.7%, so a bit lower. And the in-body scan came in at 14.8%. The real message I wanted to give by doing this episode, and for my own learning, was to see there's a massive range by going across four different body assessments. 
and there's also a big difference in price so we'll put the costs on the screen so you can actually see that one of the limitations with some of these methodologies is the cost for example the DEXA scan was the highest cost by far and if you're going to do this every week it would become really inhibitive to using it in terms of like my summary and how i feel about body fat percentage measurements I actually think they're pretty pointless. I actually think a much better way to do it is take a progress photo every week with the same lighting, same time of day, just like these that we've put on the screen here. And you can see you're actually making progress. That's what really matters is how you look, how you feel, how your strength's going in the gym. Far more important than what a DEXA scan report says. So these are kind of interesting and yeah, have a play around with them, see what you think. Let me know in the comments if you've had different results and what you think of that range. I hope you found that interesting. Make sure you not only hit subscribe to support the channel, but also hit the notification key so you know when the next episode coming out, because our next one's gonna be all the way from Thailand where I'm probably gonna be eating and training like a Muay Thai champion, and I may even do a 10,000 calorie challenge. Let's see. See you on the other side.